Well, Max, you think they're ready for meiosis? Ready for whose osis? Meiosis, let me show ya. Meiosis is how we make sex cells or gametes, the sperm cells or egg cells performing the feat of moving genes forward in eukaryotes like orchids and bees. Meiosis doesn't happen in all cells of the body, there's just a few cells that have this hobby. I'm talking about germ cells and testes and ovaries. Germ cells are diploid and what that means is that the chromosomes are paired up in teams. In each pair, one's from your dad, one's from your mother. When you line up the chromosomes, it's suddenly clear how each is a member of a coupled pair. Homologous pairs, each a homologue of the other. In humans, the diploid number is 46, and a key trick that happens in meiosis is dividing that number in half to 23. And that single set of chromosomes has its own name. It's called haploid in this meiotic game. So diploid to haploid is a key meiotic strategy. Meiosis makes eggs and sperm, it's the same in the robin as it is in the worm Makes haploid gametes, recombination, meiosis creates variation In interphase one, meiosis starts, it's the DNA replication part An evolutionary relic of its origin Cause meiosis evolved from mitosis, you see, so each process starts identically Replicating chromosomes into two sister chromatids in prophase, one chromosomes coil up and homologous pairs pair up, forming tetrads, each with chromatids four. A chiasm is the spot where the chromatids link, and synapsis is a name for the whole darn thing, and crossing over is what this whole process is for. See, the homologs aren't identical twins, no way they're not the same DNA. The genes are the same, but the alleles might take different forms. So during synapsis, alleles can cross over between homologs, and when it's all over, there are gene combinations that have never been seen before. Meiosis makes eggs and sperm, it's the same in the robin as it is in the worm, makes haploid gametes, recombination, meiosis creates variation. Another meiotic variety creator is metaphase one with homologs at the equator, cause how each pair lines up is random and independent. So in one pair of face in north might be the maternal, and the next one it might be the paternal. It's a one and two shot, it's called independent assortment. So two pairs divide up in four distinct ways, it's two to the number of pairs you could say. So think about us humans with 23 homologous pairs. Two to the 23rd power is a number so great, it's 8,388,608, that's why metaphase one is a variety creating affair. And now connect this assortment with recombination. Note that what we've got during gamete creation is sperm and egg cells that are absolutely unique. So if you ever wondered why sisters or brothers can be so different from one another, just remember these meiotic recombining techniques. And if meiosis had never evolved, the book of life would be a very different tome. Cause if it wasn't for my osis, all offspring would be clones. Anaphase one, homologs the equator. Anaphase one, they say, see you later. It's like mom and dad splitting up and setting up new homes. Two nuclei form in telophase one, then cytokinesis, meiosis one is done. We've got two haploid daughters still with doubled chromosomes. Now things are much simpler in part two of meiosis. Essentially, it's just like mitosis. You just need to pull those sister chromatids apart. They line up in the center in metaphase two. Anaphase pulls them apart. We're almost through. Telophase, then cytokinesis. We're at the last part. Meiosis makes egg and sperm, it's the same in the robin as it is in the worm Makes haploid gametes, recombination, meiosis creates variation Well Max, how do you think we did? You think they understand meiosis now? You know, I don't know why anyone would ever want to understand your own it's not your osis, it's my osis. Haven't you been listening to the song? I know it's not my osis. That's why I said your osis. Max, if you don't understand my osis, you're never going to be able to pass your genes on. You know what? I'm going to keep my genes on, and I want you to keep your osis to yourself. Mm -hmm.